today's spooky spot, we're having a look at the Diamond Select Universal Studios, home of the original monsters. We're looking today at the Minimate set consisting of Quasimodo and Phoebus. On the back of the package, the series of Minimates consist of the Sarcophagus, Imhotep, Quasimodo, and again, Phobus, Phoebus, uh, Princess, <laughs> Ank, S, Simon, I don't know. Somebody's going to tell me down below, Spoon, that's not how you say it. Okay, well, it's whatever you want to say it. Frank, Wemple, and then of course we've got a black and white Imhotep and black and white Quasimodo. The read-up says, Quasimodo, a mute, half-deaf hunchback, Quasimodo lives a solitary life in Notre Dame Cathedral, where he rings the bells and hates the world that barely knows he's ex he exists. But when drawn into a web of intrigue by others, he is unwillingly led down a path of doom. As for Phobus, or Phoebus, Phobus is the handsome captain of the guard, is on hand to rescue Esmeralda from the clutches of Quasimodo, and he quickly falls in love with the beggar girl. But that puts him squarely in the sights of Je Jehan Frollo, who wants Esmeralda for himself. I can clearly see Spot's going to have a tough time saying some of these names in these sets. But what you can go to is you can go to not only DiamondSelect.com or DiamondSelectToys.com or you can also go to ArtAsylum.com as well to see all the stuff that they have available for you and your wallets. I'm going to take myself a very terrifying break. I'm going to get these mini mates out of package. When we come back, we're going to get a better look at Quasimodo as well as Phoebus or Phobus. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Let's first have a look at Phobus. Uh, a really, really neat mini mate. Sadly, I kind of have a problem with his his boots, his feet. They keep wanting to fall off. Sometimes one of the problems with these mini mates, um, either the hole is a little too large on the actual bottom of the leg, or the pin, the actual peg itself, is a little too small. One of one of which is causing this foot to keep falling off. Now, even though the articulation, you know by now what the articulation is on these mini mates, um, I never really rotate the feet of mini mates. So I would say if this is also a problem you're having, just glue it on. Just glue it on and be done with it. Um, I really like this metallic uh, silver that they've added, not only to the lower legs in the mini mates, but also in the arm, the arms of Phoebus or Phoebus or whatever. See, there you go. There goes the foot right there. Again, falling off. You know what? If you guys have this mini mate, let me know down below. Let me say, Spot, I'm having the same problem. What do I do? I'm just saying, see, look, they both fell off. <laughs> they both fell off. I guess problem one of the biggest problems too is these shin guards uh, is probably putting a weight or, or pressure against the leg, and it's almost squeezing these feet right off, if that's even possible. Or Spot's just creating a theory that has no relevance whatsoever. Um, the detailing on him is really nice. Again, mentioning the silver and the arms. We've got this nice brown with the rivets going on there. If you hear a beeping in the background, I, I have no idea what that beeping is. Oh, wait, it's my pacemaker. No, it's the spot that's not a pacemaker. Um, there's a little uh, bit of detailing on the front of his tunic. Poncho, I don't know, what, whatever he's wearing. Um, overall, he's really nice. I love this hair as well. Uh, his hat is not removable. Sadly, if you do remove it, it takes the entire rest of the hair, the hair off. Like this, he kind of looks like that bald chef that does all those restaurant makeovers. Like this, it is... Anando Montoya, you killed my father, prepare to die. Stop saying that! His one weapon, his one accessory, he does come with a sword. If you want, that accursed beeping in the background, Bot can't even concentrate. You can put the sword down there if you want. You know what's somewhat ironic is the fact that I can hear all this beeping in the background, and I keep talking about it. Watch, though, when I finally edit this or I upload it to the computer where I do my editing, watch the music, the sound will not even be there. And all you guys will think I'm crazy. I'm telling you, the, 
that sound is there. I, I am hearing the sounds, also the voices, but both of which I really shouldn't be talking about. Uh, he is holding his sword. He holds his sword really well, actually. Um, yeah, he's just a really neat mini-mate. Plagued probably by the, the notion that in a few years' time, if he's just loosely thrown in a bag, I won't know who he is. Having only really seen The Hunchback of Notre Dame, I think once. There's been a couple different versions of, uh, of course, of that movie. But yeah, he does fall into that same problem. Quasimodo, sure, I could probably figure out, okay, that must be, yeah, Quasimodo, he's got the hunch and everything else. But this guy, I probably will forget in a few years' time if I find him in a bag somewhere. Who is that guy? Oh, right, it's Phoebus. Phoebus, Phoebus. In the way of his articulation, standard mini-mate, ball-jointed head, ball-jointed shoulders, bend in the elbow, rotation in the hand, rotation in the waist. Legs would normally go forward and back, bend at the knee, but unfortunately, his tunic whatever you want to call it, is in the way. And again, once again, the rotation in the feet. So far, they haven't fallen off. But you can even see right there. Spot applied some pressure and got those feet on. See, they're already starting to come off again. I think, uh, if anything, I might put a little bit of glue in there and just permanently glue those feet in. It doesn't bother me too much. I don't mind glued feet. If they're not going to move, at least they're not going to fall out either. Phoebus. Phobus. The guy with the sword. Uh, on a mini-mate level and on the design and coloring of him, he's a really nice mini-mate. I'm giving him a 7.5. Right down there. Moving along, put him down, put him down there for a second. Let's have a look at actually, uh, I guess the, for me, the reasoning to get this set would be the Quasimodo. Really, I guess the same thing could be said for Inno Imhotep, as I would say with Quasimodo. Really, as I would say for most of these Universal Studios monster mini-mates, for me, the draw on the mini-mates are always the monsters. The human side characters, eh, you know, they're there, they're packaged with the monsters, but for me, my interest is in the actual monsters, not so much in the human counterparts. You can see that Quasimodo has does have a standard mini-mate body underneath there. You think you can see right in there. And then they've just applied this upper torso. Um, unfortunately, it limits any sort of head movement in his head. By the way, there's his face. Hey, you gay! <laughs> sure, I guess he could also be... No, you look a little different. I was going to say, he could look like Sloth as well. Um, on a scale-wise, he's a little shorter than that of Phoebus, but likely it's due to the fact that Phoebus has maybe, yeah, he has a little longer, a little thicker boots going on there. That cursed beeping is still going on. Um, nice coloring. He's got a little bit of a stain right there. A little bit of the green paint, I guess, has got on his yellow. But he's a nice looking mini mate. I really don't have a lot of gripes to make about it. Does his hair come off? His hair does come off as, again, Really nice little uh, sculpted hair going on there, too. I don't know what else you could use it for, but it's there. Yep. I mean, I really, I'm not going to patter and pitter-patter away for another couple of minutes talking about this figure. Uh, the Mini Mate as a whole is pretty good. I don't have anything bad to say about it. It's Quasimodo. He's not my favorite of the movie monsters by any stretch of the imagination. But to have him in a mini-mate form is not bad. The paint's really nice. Good sculpt on the face. Yeah, I think I'm going to give Quasimodo there a terrifying 6.5. Today's spooky spot, we're having a look at the two-pack of mini-mates featuring Phoebus, or Phobus, and Quasimodo. Not a bad set. Again, for me, the draw is, again, getting the, uh, the movie monsters. Human counterparts, you know... We just put those aside and have these guys on display. Thanks for watching, guys. Certainly stick around. More spooky spots are definitely heading your way. And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> see you next time.